Hi everybody, welcome to Big Eye Golf and welcome back to Cornwall. We are at a wonderful little location today. I am with Neil Allen, fellow Buccaneer. Hello. We're just playing together today. We have found what I think, personally in my opinion, could be a perfect pocket golf course. We are at Budop Ven. So, if you don't know where this course is, we are just near the Helford River. We are just down the road from Falmouth, uh, near the bigger Lynx course of Mullion, and this is just superb. Fantastic hotel. When this opens, well, by the time this video comes out, the hotel will be reopened. Accommodation is it's amazing. Four star, luxury accommodation, great food. They've got a spa, fantastic spa. My wife, the golf widow, wants to come and test out the spa. Swimming pool, tennis courts. Because they've got an entrance to the Halford River, they also do boat trips. We're here to play golf today. This is a nine-hole course with two tees. So don't let that put you off. Because this is not a par three course. This is a proper full-size nine holes got the second longest par five in Cornwall. Yeah, second longest par five in Cornwall. James Braid design. James Braid design from around about 1920s, or yeah. early 90s, 1900s. Uh, and we've we've driven the course with the secretary of the golf club today just to have a look. Wow, what a course. Tricky is it's going to be, especially in this wind. Sorry about this camera, a bit wobbly. Uh, so, we've never played here before? No, no, never played. I've been passed when I've been lost, but, I, you know. Yeah, it's that kind of place, yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Real hidden gem. So, we're gonna have a, we're gonna crack on, we're gonna show you the course. Three videos, three holes per course, per video, and uh, just have a bit of fun. Neil's gonna have an extra shot. Neil's gonna have, oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have an extra shot. Neil's not, Neil's much better, as you all know. Let's just go for it, mate. Let's, have Let's do it, yeah. yeah? Wow. Nice little sort of plan of the course. We're going to come close because the wind is howling around here. We've got 40 mile an hour winds today. Yeah. And a lot it's of trees. A lot of trees, a lot of wind. It's going to make up for a fun round of golf. So first hole is a 298 yards par four. Up the hill, you've got a marker post in the middle of the fairway, which we've been told is your line. So let's go. Let's go for it. So because it's a, a two tier or a two tee course yeah we're gonna play the front nine today and come back on a better weather conditions to play the back nine yeah so we'll get we'll get the front nine we'll the get front, the front nine done front nine tees done so as per usual we've literally rocked up we spoke to the manager we spoke to the owner and we had a little drive round, but we've not had a chance to practice at all. No, I think we need to start getting a warm up done on these. Uh, things, don't real we? challenge, yeah. We're going to have to come back even earlier on most of these courses. So, straight up the hill at the marker. Okay. Well, that's a bit low and a bit of a stinger, but it's going to get up there. Up there. Yeah, not much you could do at the moment with that. A little bit low off the tee, but you'll warm up, it'll get better. It's the first shot of the day. Right, so John is now going to make headway <laughs> on this little par four. That's a cracker. I think we're told up the yeah. middle, but I'm a bit to the yeah. right, but it'll have to be. Right hand side is not, yeah. not We've too We've been bad told there. accuracy is key. Accuracy is key, that'll be a laugh. Right. I've got a GPS here running as well. Okay. I must admit, I've got a new watch I'm trying out, but I think I may be on the wrong course, so let's we'll find out that in a second. Right, 
is it? About 170. Okay, because yeah, you, you did scuff it up the hill a little bit, which yeah, is... Not, not the, not no, if you need a bit of height, you've got another slope, don't if you? If you've seen our other videos, I'm not known for a good tee shot at the first. No, 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 but that's fine. Yeah, but you're good for all the other tee shots, which is... You don't warm, you warm up slowly, don't you? Yeah, well, to be fair, this, this, this really never uh, nearly it, happened with a, a slight incident I had at work the other day. But well, yeah, um, have you still got the stitches on the top of your hand? No, I've, I've just got an open wound at the moment. Well, not an open <laughs> got an open wound. wound. It's, it's sort of healed, but... Oh, call back excuses already. Come on. Right, exactly. I saw you practicing the other day. You were in fine. Go on. Try to just get it up there now. Okay. Lovely. That looks great. Obviously, we can't tell you where the green is right now, but we'll see where he gets there. Yeah. yeah. A bit more wind up there than what I thought. Again, we're coming this up to a very tall hill here, yeah, so it's, it's quite nice here. It's sheltered. This is lovely. But once you get up there, oh yeah, it's a we'll, bit of a we'll see how we see what's happened with that. One forty-two. Okay, so one forty-two. I think you could just see the flag if you looked directly at the the horizon of the grass, which you can see the flag fluttering. Okay, between the trees and the bunker. You're 142, John. So, look at John's shot here. The green is up. It's just up here, just to the left of that tree. So, he's got 140. Yeah, so yeah, so when I come here now, I can't see it. So I'm going to have to go this way, aren't I? I can yeah. go five iron and try and keep it, just, just get out there a bit further away from the trees. I think that's the plan. You've kept it I'm under. the trees and I now know where I'm going. It's scuttling on nicely, but... That'll be fine. That, that should, that'll do you. Thank you. The wind is going to really hit now. We've just been up there to check. You may get this bit next to music. We shall see. So with the extra shot that I've got, we're kind of even Stephen. I'm a bit yeah. on the right-hand side of the green. Neil's got the better line in, though, that's for sure. Well, nice line in. Yep. Just misclubbed it, but... When you're trying to judge into a wind and up a hill, is yeah. This is actually a kind of a double green, so it's the fifth as well. All right. Just caught the tree. Just caught the tree. Just caught the tree, mate. You do realise I was aiming at the wrong green, don't you? Yeah, I was aiming at that one. <laughs> okay, so in my defence, even though it was badly to the right. I actually aimed for the wrong flag. He so, used, yeah, this I did, is. I forgot it was green. a kind of a double green. And there's our green. So See, you aimed the first, for the wrong there's one. There's the fifth. I aimed for the fifth. Still didn't hit the fifth, but I aimed for the fifth. So. Right, let's see what John can do here. He's hit that. That's some wonky camera work there, but he's yeah, he's just on the on the green there. Yeah, but we told the greens don't hold very well. In fact, a lot of them you run off of. So yeah, just get on the green. We're doing well. I think you've done well with that one. Thank you. The difficulty of not really knowing our course is we sometimes aim for the wrong place. Yeah, that's okay. Well, now we're doing all right. We're, we are showcasing the course, and actually the sun's come out, Neil. Beautiful. Forget the forget the strong wind. The sun's come out. Yeah, it'd be fine. Fun. I think I hit that tree then, because that would have probably just made it on the green. It's a bit unlucky. A little bumpy run with a 52. Okay. That's lovely. Oh, go on. Oh. Well done. Oh. Get some putters out, mate. Let's get the putters. Right, so John on his fifth shot here. He's yeah. got his putt. So we're still even. Yeah, you've got a shot as well. I think we're even with the shot, aren't we? Uh, you've got the advantage. Not sure of the speeds yet. Oh, Actually, it's happened quite slow, but that wasn't too bad. There was a little a dink run. and it still went well, didn't it? I'll give you that one. Thank you. So Being very six. generous and kind of the start of the competition. Six to five, I've put to half a hole. Okay. So Neil's got a putt for the half.
Neil. I went for that one. Neil. Oh. I know, you know being generous giving me the hole in the first place and then doing yeah. it that. Okay. Nice. Up to you, John. Let's go to the second. Right then, Neil. So, hole two. Second hole, 179 yard par three. Okay, and this is a lovely hole. Like it this, does look right? nice. You're shooting downhill. You've got a little tree here on the left hand side. Shouldn't come into play. But yeah, it's downhill and it slopes off to the green. Yeah, it we've been really told nice. to aim it short, let them roll. Yeah. Yeah, the, again, the green will not hold. These James Braid courses seem to be that the greens are designed so if you land on them, you roll off onto different places. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do our best here. The first three holes here kind of go, they stick to their own little loop. Don't they? Yeah. They back to the club out, which is yeah, kind of very the first three loop around, which is quite nice. But yeah, let's, let's get on and play this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's going to bounce in front. Yeah. yeah. I should have a hybrid. Obviously, yeah. maybe play bar might be good. See, part of it is trying to work out what was up to it. Yeah, and as we've never played it, it's a real challenge. We're discussing we're going from hybrids to nine irons, and I think depending on the wind conditions, it could be anything. The wind is directly kind of right to left, I think, and yeah, kind it's of at our back. On 60. Okay. It's nine iron, but it's all downhill, it's all going to bounce, it's all going to roll. Yeah. I think as long as we get between that gap and we'll see what happens, really. Yeah. We've played from right, well, I'm guessing it's right hand side of the green. Oh uh, yeah, I think we were also told right hand side, weren't we? Yeah, and it'll bounce there. Whether I can remember all the things we were told by now after coffee and everything, I don't know, but... That looked about on perfect to me, that's going right at the flag. I can just see the top of the flag, so yeah, again, it's going to be quite tricky. That just got over the, over the hill, didn't it? Just that's dropped. all going to be down on the bounce. That could be very good. I just thought it bounced, pop up, and then disappear. Yeah. So it looked like it got the right place. It'll be down, it's all going to be on the bounce there. On the bounce. That's true. When you're playing and it's you're shooting downhill, you are sort of taking a lap into the gods, really, of where your ball's going to bounce. But I'm hoping that, that shouldn't be too bad. It went straight though, John. It went straight. That was, that was good. We're playing off the yellows because it's just for a bit of fun, but there are some seriously long holes later if you want to play off different tee positions. Yeah. I'm going with a pocket and I really don't know what I should be using. Right, John's going with his hybrid. Again, off, off that, slope. that's all on the run now. Could be anywhere. That is, find out. It's all going to be on the bank of the run. Look great. That looked really good. Let's hope <laughs> there's two balls on the street. Yeah, exactly. We shall see. So, Neil, now we're down at the other end. Yeah. We think one survived and one didn't. Yeah. We got one on the bank, well, one on the back of the green. And mine off got the back. One just off the back. Yeah, that seems to be for a decent shot for once in my life. I should have scuttled it down it on a bit fine. It's just trying to predict that downhill bounce. Oh yeah, so we're going to show you. So again, this is the problem when you run off the back because it's quite a slope and there's me. Neil near, oh sorry, hit the camera there, sorry. Neil nearly did the same. So he's kind of there. There's the green, and that's where we were seeing up from, up there. It's all a bit hit and miss sometimes on the shot. Yeah, no, that is true. So we've come down from just up past this tree and it all sweeps down, down to this green. And I've just found this little section at the back. John's just gone over the back of the green. This will so, test my new ideas of how to, how to pitch a shot. Isn't it? Yeah, he's had a bit of a lesson with Dan Hendricks on the short game. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'll just blow it. Look at the sickness. You see this? So he gets on. Get He's nipped it up. And it's on the green. You're on there. Can't really do wrong with that, John. Oh, that's okay. Right. So I'm gonna up with a 52 again. Okay. 
building oh just turn to the right again with the wind massive but i'm trying to not rely on my 60 degree all the time yeah I'm trying to vary it up a great course for that, great course to try out different things and it's, you know, oh, like yeah. I said, it's a genuine course, it's very tough on these holes. Yeah, oh no, definitely. Yeah. I uh, forgive the camera work at times because it is seriously windy and we're actually even struggling to hold this camera steady at times. So, leave it on. Oh, so John's got a little putt here. He's lining himself up. I think there's a definite slope. You got a bit of a slopey run there. It's probably about 15 feet. Yeah, no, it didn't curl, did it? Didn't turn. No, it's all about it, pace, I think, too a, strong. It a little bit aggressive the there. Hard, like I said, at the moment, it's really hard to judge the speed of the greens. Again, we're not we're not practiced on the putting green or anything. We just haven't had time, so a bit of guesswork for us today. That's okay. We'll come back. That's a much better pace. Go on. Oh. Unlucky. Take it away. That was close. Take it away. All right. So I'm in for four, John. Doing for four. You've got this one. This is, this my this fourth, is your fourth. So you've got this one now. So with the shot, this is to win. This yeah? is to win the hole. You got two you for the hole. Turn the other way. I don't know. Yeah, I learned to play safe. <laughs> yeah. So we'll give you that one. Okay. A half for you, sir. Thank you. Take that. Let's move on to the third. Yeah, third is a lovely hole. Well, actually, they're all lovely holes. They're all very different, very intricate. Just loving this course already, when you play two holes. So then, Neil, hole three. Hole three, 262 yard par four. Okay, sounds lovely. It sounds short. Sounds short, but it's tricky but again. You're teeing off, you're going straight down, it dog legs right. Seriously. Like 90 right. degrees right. You can just about see the green, but you've got trees in front of you. And you there's a serious slope left yeah, to right. So, as unless well. you want to risk it, you could probably get there. Yeah, we were warned but not go right. If you'll go right, you stay right, you can never get out of it. The trees everywhere. The, the target trees are 200 yards away. So I've got a seven iron and I'm hoping I can pitch it about 170, 180. It's all about where it lands for the first shot. And yeah, the... and then that'll leave me a little pitch across. So so before we go and show you the hole, I'm just going to show you this behind. This is one of the, well, I guess holiday cottages, holiday yeah. houses that they've got on this little, course, little as well self, as the accommodation. Little self catering. Beautiful. accommodation and do you know what i'd love to stay in there wake up in the morning look out well, on the golf course this is it you stay there you look up on the golf course here's the tee and there's your tee shot straight down lovely view of the valley beautiful i tell you what, I, I could wake up to that every morning yeah i just hit i wouldn't go and collect the ball i'd hit the hit the tee shot and have breakfast yeah yeah go and collect the ball later if the tee shot was bad just yeah, go back the, to bed go back to bed yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're going to play this course like two or three times during the season because yeah. This is such a beautiful course already, and, I, and I've, I've seen pictures of the, the videos and, and on the website, and it's going to be stunning it in the summer. It comes out in bloom in the summer. Yeah, absolutely seen, beautiful. Yeah. So we'll be back very soon to do the back nine, which yeah. is kind of what this is. So the back nine of this one, this is the third, we're on the third. The twelfth is literally in front of us on this one. Again, two tees, same shot. Sometimes it's not the same shot. Yeah. Sometimes no, it's no, seriously sometimes, different from distances. What I've seen, some of the some of the tees are at different angles, so you've got a different type of tee shot you're playing. Yeah. And the par five, which we'll come to, oh, that's, the got, par that's got five a totally different. Unreal. For the championship tee, that's got a different tee altogether. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll show you that one later. I think that's probably on video three, maybe. I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah, that'll Coming be on our seven, part three. So at least one. stick around with us for that one. So uh, you can tee off, mate, because yeah. I'm carrying a camera. Let's do it. Okay. So Neil's just setting up his shot. Like we said, uh, if you look, we're just going to zoom in a little bit if we can. You're basically aiming for those three trees we've been told, or three or four trees in a line. Yeah, that's the target. That's the target. Anything right is not good. So I've got a seven on. I'm just going to try to go for the right hand tree. Okay. And just hope that that should give you a middle kind of position in the angle when it goes in. Pitch in should kick. 
It's also a very tiny green, if I remember rightly. Yeah, but then that is also if it goes the way I want it to. I think you've hit that bang on the money. Is the line? Bang on the money. Where it's going to roll is in my. No. I think it's kicked right. Well, that's Should the plan. Yeah. Land and kick right. We shall see where you've gone. No, that's fine. very good, very good. I think what we need to do, John, is when we come back, yep, obviously they'll be all up and running in the summer. Yep. We'll have to find out who's staying in this little hut. Yeah. And do you know what? We'll, we'll get him to make us a coffee. Have it there ready when we yeah, come can through. We, we organise whoever's staying there to have to give us a little break on the way round. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right, so you've got Len. Yep. I'm seven. For, seven wood. Yeah, go for Lenny. Uh, mainly because it's got to practice it, and why not? I think it's going to be a perfect tee shot for that, to be fair. You got a bit right, but you've kicked off the tree. Kick left. Yeah, I kind of chipped that. It didn't really. Yeah. No commitment. But you've you've kicked out, so you have got a shot though. Yeah. You have got oh, a shot from there. I'm going to chip out onto where I should be. Yeah. That's fine. It's what yeah. it is. Yeah. You'll be fine from there. Right. So we've got got to jump the ball. Yeah, I came up way short. I, we were just saying, I kind of almost bottled it in my head. It just suddenly went. I'll oh, just just kind of tap yeah, it. Yeah. You, you got part way down your downswing, and you're just like. Ugh. Yeah. You just like practicing was great as always. Yeah. So I'm just going to try and get it back onto the fairway and give me a shot in. Yeah, what I've so got you, the shot for. You, you get a shot here, so you might as well use it to your advantage. A little bit thinny, but yeah. you're back. Okay. You're in a position now to hit it onto the green. Very strange shot because you're falling above your feet, and it's yeah. very strange going down a hill. But you, it's what it is. Yeah. Well, you've now got a position now. You can pitch it into the green. Yeah. So you know, you've, got, you've got a shot. We're both there for the same. We'll have fun. Be a pitching contest. Right. So Neil's going to drive the buggy very gently, aren't you, Neil? That's and right. uh, I'm going to try and hold on to this camera just so you can kind of show. So we're going down the slope to where those trees are, and then you're going to go into a very tiny green. So Neil's just going to turn this round where the ball would have gone, and there is your little tiny green. With, with bunkers to protect it, yep. and the bunkers are very well positioned in all this course. They are, yeah. We found out that both shots that kind of landed up where they should do are one is just kind of well in front of you, and one is nearby the bunker. So they literally, let me turn this around to us, they literally bounced in the right place, yeah, and then kicked right, and you were almost on the green. I mean, yeah, we've had quite a dry spell now for the past sort of three weeks four yeah weeks. so although it looked quite lush it's it's quite firm so the quite balls firm. are running and there's so many undulations there that they're feeding in and they're just rolling through i think if you play this course a few times you'll absolutely love it because yeah. you'll love experiment with the yeah, landing points exactly, to see yeah. where the ball goes afterwards i mean I, I hit a seven iron off the tee and i've bundled down and i've got a lovely little chip in yeah and so i know i know i just mine but hey a little nine iron yeah. down into that and i'm still kind of a yeah. different shot to you but I mean, for me from the tee maybe an eight iron would have left me I don't know, maybe a 60, 70 yard pitch in across. Yeah, but, across. But I'm down here, just short of the green. Nice little position in. A lot of green to play with. Let's, let's have some fun, shall we? Let's do it. So while Neil is just sorting out some clubs, and he's just he's taking a photograph of my ball. I have no idea why. Thumbnails, probably. Uh, that's where we teed off from. Wow, what a lovely place. I so love that holiday home. One day, one day, John, when you're a millionaire and you've got loads of fans on YouTube. One day, eh? So we're going to scoot round. Yeah. Why are we taking a photograph of my ball? No, it's something artistic. It just looked nice. Okay, it's an artistic feature. We'll, we'll put it on the channel at some we'll point. We'll probably put it on there. Yeah. So I'm going to go with a little six, oh, 60 wedge. Oh, you're on 60. I'm just giving yep. you the 50. Well, 50's all right. Go on 60. Shorter. Well, they're both blue and you know. Right, so John's got his 60. We were saying there's a big drain here, which you, you probably missed, and so did I. Yeah, we've just missed the little storm drain. So 
So he's nipped that. Oh, just not close just, enough. Just come up short. It's okay. But you know, you didn't have your lesson long ago, so you're still practicing. I'm still, still trying to get that distance. Getting used point. to it. Oh, it's fine. Got another lesson next week with a bit of luck. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I'm still a bit scared of thinning them, which would have dramatically gone out of bounds, because obviously the car park is out of bounds. Yeah. So I've got a shot in, Neil's just going to scoot the buggy down the slope. There we go. Lovely driving from Neil, lovely steady driving. We did have a buggy earlier, had no brakes, didn't we? That was quite scary. <laughs> oh, the fun, the fun of finding buggers. I love gold buggers. So I'm going to fill from up here so you can see Neil's shot. Neil is just short of this um, donut bunker, really. Yeah. It's just perfect little greens, and the undulations on the green are amazing as well. Yeah, they're sort of, they really do undulate nicely. Lovely shot. Just held a little bit, but that's lovely. Very good. Well done. Little fist pump. Oh, a bit competitive coming out now. Yeah, I see. I thought we were being friendly, but oh no. This is the new Neil. This is the new I'm going to get my handicap down lower in Neil. This is. <laughs> well done, mate. Well, I don't know if it's competitive, John, the new sort of golf I'm playing, but no, you, when I hit a you shot. Get a little bit more serious with the way yeah. you play because when that's how I, when you I hit a that. shot when I, it does what I want it to do then yeah I'm gonna get excited <laughs> well, well I didn't get blasé when you do it every time mate and you so recently have been doing it every time as well <laughs> we can see get in there Well, you carry on with your your next putt. Okay. I mean, when you're changing in between golf clubs and you know, you're playing different courses, getting used to the greens sometimes can be a little bit tricky from the off. Ooh. That's a face. That's a face. That's You'll fine. Have that. You'll I'll have take that away. You can have that. But you deserve it. I mean, you get a birdie here, mate. If you can get this, go on. You can do this. What? I'm so proud of the way you're playing recently. I really am. Well, I mean, there's been some there's been some downs. I mean, it's not all been ups. No, but things are definitely on the way improving, aren't they? They are moving forward, we'll say. Right, put it down here. Cool. Little bobble. Little nice and bobble. safe, though. But take a par. Well done, well done indeed. So at the end of the first three holes we're in the back to level. We're all square. Which is kind of fun. The sun has come out. Oh, I know the wind is still very strong as you may hopefully but not find out. I've bought a lot of expensive software to stop it but yeah the Shades wind is still there. Now. Shades yeah, are on. Oh uh, now easy to cool now Mr. Cool. So thank you very much to uh, Budok Fen or Budok Veen. We're going to work this out at some point. Yeah and their wonderful staff here and the owners for just letting us come and play the course today. I've often said it before, Millionaire's Golf. Wow. Wish I owned this place to be yeah. playing it every day. Just it's coming lovely, out in the morning and playing course. it. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, do a thumbs up, do all those kind of things, come and join the crew and come and watch us find lots of these wonderful hidden gems around the southwest. Come and play it, it's amazing. See you later, see you in part two. <laughs>